Hi everybody, you are watching Edis English Literature. I am Ardhendu De. In this video lecture, we will try to access key features of the audiovisual media, the electronic media and online digital schools and how far they are helping to boost the education system. This is purely a study to understand the subject critically. At present, just at the time of coronavirus attack and so much disturbance of the regular course of studies, the audiovisual media or the electronic media or a kind of online teaching learning platform that is currently running and the social media like YouTube, Facebook as it is usually known or um, that has taken the world by storm and it's the reality at present we are facing it has taken the other two means of mass communication the radio and the newspaper by the jugular and is rendering them obsolete at a breathless pace the radio has yielded place since it has not been the visual attraction and the newspaper can certainly not come up with onslaught of the audiovisual medium and since it is rendered obsolete in the very hour of its publication and in addition require the effort of reading. The audiovisual medium almost renders the person's role passive for he has to only sit still with open eyes and be bombarded by a host of information and sights. The increasing material property and the rapid scientific progress and digital media, the spread of the communication or the communicative network has resulted in a situation in which a television is a sign qua non even in the remotest of the rural areas. And this is a global phenomenon. Indeed, India is only catching up or attempting to catch up with the West. The root question now is whether the medium works to man's detriment or whether it is a valuable gift of science, science any bends. Generally speaking, it is double-edged and cuts both the ways. It opens up the mind of a new horizon of thoughts, expressions and experiences, sensations which could not have been possible by any other means in closed-door physical classes. It entertains in a manner possible only to the visual media. The visual sensation is the most pleasing. The digital revolution and the smartphone's population has led to a plethora of channels, educational hubs, whether national or international sites, controlled by government or a private enterprise casting direct subject resources or to pure edutainment provided 24 hours of engagement. The edutainment may be exclusively musical, cinematic or related to travel, sports or any other subjects of learning. The kinds of education uh, prevailing in different parts of the world or the latest methods of teaching are brought alive and the experiences is no uh, different from watching the whole um, classes or the watching the whole um, classroom situations that we find while teaching uh, by teachers uh, in the classroom and indeed if there is any difference the difference is that one gets a closer view in the medium. A backbencher or a side student can remotely learn this way. A, the class or um, the class or a lesson for which one would have to visit the classroom, negotiate time and cues and waiting for a month or so for a particular teacher who may or may not arrive at the school at that stipulated time are now immediately available at the place of a button and it is interactive too what we want we want the edutainment so education is there entertainment is there everything is there the sports lovers for example are having a field day 
with the telecasting of the World Cup cricket being held in remote corners of the earth. The same is true for recorded classes of their favorite teachers. Now, one need not explain but watch it uh, in the comfort of home. The home watching certainly proves more profitable with the replace of the important studies and the presentations from various angles. So it is a win-win situation both for the students and the teachers. Teachers are making it possible the digital resources at home at ease and students are also having its pleasant time home environment learning. All these comfort situations, but uh, there are some sorry tales too. If the audiovisual medium and the digital classroom has a merit of benefits, it also has a few bends. It often assumes an important uh, an importance in man's life disproportionate to its true relevance. One may well become addicted to the medium, thus cutting off the social intercourse or even the world of action. The physical classroom, fellow friends and teachers are more related to heart than online teachers. Open sky and trees are more welcome than the drab blue digital screen. Students may watch uh, numerous sports event but refuse to budge themselves, turning into notorious couch potatoes. The mind too often turns a passive receptacle into a coherent pattern, a frame of reference. The problem is particularly acute in the cases of children, the like young students. Uh, from early on, they become habituated to living in a make-believe world and that make-believe world makes him more to be an artificial world, a world where there is no such emotions and it, it, it developed unprepared to face the harsh realities of life. They become escapist. The romantic escapism is there that induces depression. When they come in contact with reality, they cannot cope with the situations and they detach from reality and that drags him a failure in actual life. Even if this dependence on an imaginary world does not always come about the TV program certainly encourage on the child's hour of study. They are rendered passive creatures and they very and the very effort of reading appears strenuously and repulsive. Finally, even the medical and especially official effect of watching the audiovisual medium or attending digiting classes or attending digital classes for prolonged hours is not proving any encouraging aspects of us because it ruins our eyesight, it ruins our or drains our mental health. The simmering movement of the screen and the bright color pigments or pixels affect the retina and in addition to the harm done to the body due to the lack of movement. The most relevant question being asked today is about the relation of viewing or reading the television to the book. Is there a class or a cohesion? Many would find that the visual medium is rendering a signal service by making the written or the printed medium. Now, not only scientific information but also the arts can be presented uh, on the television. Some would go even further and claim that in this realizing a large number of successful and significant literary classics, one finds both such international classics as Uthering Heights or David Copperfield or Anna Cardina or such classics of uh, national school cultural importance uh, as the Mahabharata, Ravindranath Tagore's Gora and uh, even uh, Sarat Chandra's Grihodao. Since many people would not have read these of their own accordingly, 
the visual medium has provided them with an opportunity to become acquainted with such major works and this is uh, and, and 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 this and this is bound to leave uh, its imprints on their life especially for children they provide an entertainment or a kind of an entertaining way of getting to know some of the basic texts of national importance which might have appeared drudgery if they were forced to read them on the other hand the serialization of such classics also has some certain adverse effects the most common is that uh, since it is written for mass consumption it is fitted to suit the mass culture uh, not only the gross simplification but also vulgarization and sensationalization are bound to happen because ultimately the advertising revenue or the profits are one of the big factors of serializing or serializing those texts the young viewers are particularly susceptible since viewing it as something which presents the classic and at second hand through the eyes of a director uh, with his eyes on commercial success rather than cultural or intellectual truth demotivates his reading tendency uh, at, 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 at first hand he will be acquainted with the original text in a in a in a spectacle way in a colored way and that is quite detrimental for uh, the collective education of a society does he never comes to be acquainted with the author's original intention or with the original favor of the works in his mind the mahabharata remains or the fairy tales of supernatural episodes which remains to him which is uh, forced him to remain in his mind by the director it is quite possible that he never comes across the mature essence of the message of the text. Uh, for example, Gora becomes a novel of events rather than an internal and tormenting conflict between two kinds of identity, social and individual. Finally, if such viewing blocks out individual reading altogether, one cannot but admit that it is a source of harm. Like science itself, or perhaps like everything else in life, the audiovisual medium, including digital classrooms or several uh, online platforms, particularly of social media, is good for mental and physical health only if it is used with moderation and restraint. It must serve as a complement or a supplement rather than as a suitable for reading learning environment. Simply I say my physical class is far more suitable than that of this online medium because the taste, the fragrances that we can have in the real one-to-one -one situations or a practical pragmatic situations of reality cannot have its meeting at the virtual world. So like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel to get this kind of discussions fruitful to you. If you have any question, just ask me. I will try my best to give some answers. Thank you. Bye-bye.